So in this video, we're gonna talk about something that goes on in your head when you're playing golf and maybe what's stopping you from actually performing better than you are. What I call time traveling or forecasting. Now in life, we love forecasting. You know, forecasting, let's say golf for example, if I can just par the last three holes, I'll break 80 for the first time. Or we say these little things like, if I can just finish par par birdie, I will break 70 for the first time. Now, depending on whatever level of golfer you are, we all think like this at some point, but on the negative side of it, you know, you might be playing quite well. You could be a good, an elite player and you could be five under for the first time and your best round is five under, yet you've, you've only, you're a five under through nine holes, for example, and you've never gone better than five under and you start to play out the remaining nine holes and what if I shoot six or seven or eight or you're consist, you know, considering breaking the course record or winning the tournament by more than one stroke or this is all forecasting, thinking about what's going to happen. The negative side would be the opposite, would be going back into the past. Why I just three putted the last hole or why I hit such a bad tee shot and, and how, how am I going to deal with that? I can't believe my swing is doing this. What am I doing with my swing? So you can see why we call it time traveling. So right now I'm talking to you. I'm here now where my feet are looking at the camera. I'm focused on what I'm saying. I'm not thinking about what I did this morning or what I'm going to be doing this afternoon. I'm in the present moment. I'm right now engaged. Hopefully you are listening to me, which means you are in the present moment also. Now you hear players saying it all the time about one shot at a time. You know, it sounds very cliche and very boring, but it's the truth. And it's, I guess that the essence of it and the heart of it is getting yourself to be in that present moment to execute free from thinking about what if I do this or do that or free from thinking about, I can't believe I just did that, or why did I do that, or can I keep doing that? So this time traveling is normal, first of all, and I say that, that we all do it as human beings in life in general, but in golf terms, I'm obviously relating it back to that. You know, accepting that you will have these thoughts. You will have these thoughts, if I can do this, or what if I hit it in the hazard? What's gonna happen there? Or what if I hit it out of bounds in this hole? Or what if I missed this putt? They're common thoughts that we all go through. And I can tell you the elite players think this too, right? But the difference between those elite players thinking these thoughts and just the average club golfer is that those thoughts are just thoughts. They don't define what I'm going to do as a player if I'm an elite player. I welcome them. I go, oh, that's interesting that I'm thinking like that. Don't allow it to, to bother me. I let it go through one ear and outside the other, basically. And I guess the essence of getting into the zone is being able to be in that present moment. Breathing is a good place to get you in the present moment. Uh, another moment. Another thing that I say to players is ask themselves this question. If they capture themselves thinking about what if or what they just did and they recognize, first of all, that they recognize that they are forecasting or time traveling, what can they do now? What am I doing now? What is the best thing I can do right now in this situation, whichever hole you're on? If I'm the 16th fairway, what is the best thing I can do right now? That gets them focusing on the now. It doesn't get them focusing on the next two holes to finish out the round. It doesn't get them focusing on what they just did in the past. What can you do now? The three R's. The first one is recognize, which I just spoke about. Recognize that you are thinking these thoughts, that you are time traveling, you're forecasting. Then you have to regroup. So regroup means like, I guess you put a stop to it. So what I just said to you about asking the question, where are you now? What are you doing now? What is the best thing I can do now in this situation? that's a, an opportunity for you to regroup. So you're aware of the thoughts, you recognized, you're regrouping, okay? Then the third part is to refocus. That's obviously to go into the action part and put your attention where it needs to be. That gets you in the best frame of mind to execute freely in the moment, in the now, not in the past, not in the present. Far too many players I've seen are afraid of playing well. They're playing extremely well and they think about what if I do this? and it affects how they play those next few holes and they don't realize what they did previously was just in the now, got them to that point. Hugely powerful, hugely beneficial if you can focus on the three R's, making sure that you recognize, regroup, refocus. I think this will help you for sure get into the zone more often than not. I can tell you from a personal experience, from coaching players, getting into the zone is not a fluke. You can work yourself into the zone by thinking like this, being aware of your thoughts, not allowing your thoughts to dictate outcome and regrouping and refocusing when you have to. So I hope this helps you mentally become sharper, be a little bit more aware of your thoughts, but don't let them dominate you.